Good morning. For this report, we are going to discuss Ziegler Nichols tuning method. Uh, this is Jefferson Ray Arroyo, and I will be the one uh, discussing this report. For the Ziegler Nichols tuning method, uh, we are going to do the introduction, the method of tuning, and the procedure of tuning. Ziegler Nichols tuning method is a heuristic method of tuning a PID controller. It was developed by John G. Ziegler and Nathaniel B. Nichols. It is performed by setting the I, which is the integral, and the D, which is the derivative gains to zero. Ziegler and Nichols published in 1942 a paper where they described two methods for tuning the parameters of a P, PI, and PID controllers. These two methods are the Ziegler Nichols closed loop method and the Ziegler Nichols open loop method. Ziegler Nichols used the following definition of acceptable stability as a basis for their controlled tuning rules. The ratio of the amplitude of the subsequent peak in the same direction. This is due to a step change of the disturbance or a step change of the set point in the control loop is approximately one-fourth. If we do a uh, ratio and proportion, we can see that the formula that we came up is A2, which is the subsequent peak in the same direction, over A1, which is the first peak uh, in the same direction over A1 is equals to 1 over 4. As you can see here in the illustration with uh, V uh, on a positive um, input, uh, we can see the the response of the system in a sinusoidal wave. The first peak, which is A1, or the first positive peak, which is A1, and then the, in comparison to the second subsequent peak or the next peak, or the next positive peak which is A2. If you look at the relation of the two peaks you can say that A1 is equals to one-fourth oh of Sorry, sorry. You can say that A2 is equal to one fourth of A1, or A2 over A1 is equal to one fourth. So, for the methods of tuning, as uh, b this, as it mentioned before in the first uh, in the introduction, there are two methods of tuning for a Zener Nichols uh, tuning method. These are 
Zener Nichols closed loop method and Zener Nichols open loop method. So let us discuss further um, the first of the two methods, which is Zener Nichols closed loop method. Zener Nichols closed loop method can be applied only to processes having a time delay or having dynamic of order higher than 3. So let us proceed with the actual uh, tuning procedure. So the first step is to bring the process to or as close to as possible the specific operating point of the control system to ensure that the controller during the th tuning is feeling representative process dynamic and to minimize the chance that variable during the tuning research the tuning reach limits you can bring the process to the operating point by manually adjusting the control variable with the controller in, in manual mode until the process variable is approximately equal to the set point. So the, the, the second step is turn the PID controller into a P controller by setting set TI is equal to infinite and TD is equal to zero. Initially set gain which is KP to zero. Close the control loop by setting the controller in automatic mode. So these are the this is the table. Uh, this is table one formulas for the controller parameter in Ziegler Nichols closed loop method. So the KP for the P controller is 0.5 KPU while the TI for the P controller is infinite and the TD for the PI co P controller is zero. The KP for the PI controller is point 45 KPU while TI for the PI controller is PU over L2 and the TD for the PI controller is equal to 0. The KP for the PID controller is 0.6 KPU while the TI for the PI contro PID controller is PU over 2 and the TD for the PID controller is PU over 8 is equal to TI over 4. So this is table 1 and it, it has the formulas for the controller parameters in the Z Ziger Nichols closed loop method. So let us proceed with the step 3 of the tuning procedure for a closed loop um, method. So increase KP until there are sustained oscillation in the signal in the control system. Example, in the process measurement after an excitement excitation of the system, the sustained oscillation corresponds to the system being on the stability limit. This KP value is denoted the ultimate or you can call it critical gain. Its symbol is KPU. For step 4, measure the ultimate or the critical period which is PU of the sustained oscillation. And step five, 
calculate the controller parameter values according to table 1 and use these parameters values in the controller if the stability of the controller the control loop is poor try to improve the stability by decreasing KP for example a 20% decrease Here we see an uh, example of a block diagram for a closed loop tuning method. So the input is YSP. Under the group of the controller, we have the PID and the switch that uh, controls the manual in the automatic and an additional value which is being, uh, being added into the system which is U0 the output of the controller group is U um, which is the input of the process while a value of V is being added into the process the output of the process is Y and and a reverse uh, and a feedback signal is being sent to the sensor which measures the value of Y and a negative the negative the negative value of the measured Y is being added to YSP at the input so Ziegler Nichols open loop method so the Ziegler Nichols open loop method is based on the process step response the PID parameters are calculated from the response in the process measurement which is YM after a step with a height U in the control variable U or small u seeing on the seen on the next slide uh, the illustration would be can be seen on the next slide so the term process here means all blocks in the control except for except the controller the step response experiment is executed on the uncontrolled process so that the control loop is open so this means that it does not have a feedback we can see here the black diagram for the Ziegler Nichols open loop system so at the input we have U which is the control signal which passes through the process in including sensor and scaling and the output of that is the process measurement which is YM so this figure 2 the Ziegler Nichols open loop method is based on the step response of the uncontrolled process so let us proceed with the open loop method PID tuning procedure so the first step is if the control loop is closed example uh, there's a feedback the loop must be open this can be done by setting the controller in manual mode the second step is to bring the process to the operation point by adjusting the control variable manually this is done by adjusting u0 in figure 2 if you can remember the uh, figure 2 as shown in the slide before so for, for step 3 of the 
open loop method PID tuning procedure excite the process via a step of amplitude u in the control variable small u the step should be small so that the, the process is not brought too far from the operating point but of course the step must be large enough to give an observable response in process measurement YM a step amplitude of U is equals to 10% can be a reasonable value but the amplitude must be chosen individually in each case so for the step 4 of the tuning procedure you must read off the following characteristic parameters from the step response in YM so that would be the equivalent dead time or lag L rate or slope R so you can find this in figure 3 so figure 3 which shows the relevant part of a typical step response in the figure, the time axis starts at step time. The annotation 00, zero along the y axis corresponds to YM0 in figure 2, while L is the time from the step time to the point of intersection between the 00, zero line and the steepest tangent R is the slope of the steepest tangent so let us look at 3 okay so we can see that there are um, the slope which is R um, the distance from 0 0 to the point of intersection from 0 0 and the tangent of the line so this is figure 3 the Ziegler Nichols open loop method the equivalent dead time L and rate R read off from the process response So for step 5, it says that calculate the controller parameters according to table 1. We can see table 1 uh, in the next slide. After the controller parameter have been calculated and entered in the PID controller, the control loop is closed by setting the controller into um, automatic mode. And this is the procedure is the tuning procedure number six so we can see here the table one which is the, the Ziegler Nichols open loop method this is the formula for the controller parameters where KP for the P controller is 1 over R LR over U while TI for the P controller is infinite and the TD for the P controller is equal to zero the KP for the PI controller is 0.9 LR over U while the TI for the PI controller is 3.3 L and TD for the PI controller is equals to zero. The KP for the PID controller is 1.2 over LR over U. While TI for the PID controller is 2L. And the TD for the PID controller is 0.5L equals to 
ti over 4 again this is table 1 of the nickel for the nickels for the Ziegler nickels open loop method and that is the Ziegler nickels tuning method thank you